Morning, I just finished my workout and I wanna share with you my go-to lunch breakfast meal. I just got done browning my sausage. I, I'm on a keto diet and I've been doing keto probably for about four months now. Um, not really to lose a lot of weight, I just wanted to lose a few pounds, but mainly for my energy levels. Try to work on sleep and try to go fat fueled instead of carb fueled. Um, I'm not on a zero carb, I'm on a low carb, um, probably somewhere around um, 50 or 60 carbs a day. I'm using the Jimmy Dean sausage. I buy whatever's on sale. These are like two for six at Publix. So I got these uh, just about browned up. So I'm going to get some olive oil in this pan. And then we are going to, so we got three links in there. That is a serving size. Um, my next thing is I'm gonna have a, I have a Haas avocado here that I'm going to slice so that I can make a little, put my eggs in there, which is delicious. And the other thing I'm going to do, so what you do is you, you, you slice them pretty thick and then you cut out the center Cut myself. Yeah, let's shut that. So you cut out the center, so you have a little hole. Oops, oh, that one. That's okay. And then just cut out a little bit more here. You have a little cup to put the egg. And then we've got. Spinach. So I have about two cups of spinach in my bowl. That's going to be my breakfast, my, my breakfast, lunch, my first meal of the day. Before I worked out, I ate um, an ounce of macadamia nuts, and then I have my coffee while I work out, which is coffee, two ounces of heavy cream, a little stevia, and. Um, MCT oil, one tablespoon of MCT oil. So that's kind of my pre-workout right now. I'm gonna experiment with some, another pre-workout. Um, BCAAs, a little protein, go back to a little bit of what I used to do and see if I see any difference. I'm gonna get a little pink Himalayan salt on my avocado here. That's going in my bowl. All right, let's get back on the stove here. All right, so in goes my avocado into the bowl, into the, see how nice that is? Okay. And then the magic happens. I like Eggland, Eggland Best eggs because it's supposed to be a little healthier. So I buy them by the 18 because I go through a lot of eggs on keto. So we go right in my hole here. Okay, it spills out because there's more egg than there is avocado hole. A little bit of salt. I have migraines so I gotta really watch how much salt I take in because that will trigger a migraine for me. Uh, so that is part of my thing. I like black pepper as well. Black pepper is good for you. We're so doing that. Let that cook up a minute. So today I did thruster warm up and we did a six sets of, I think it was about. 60% of clean and jerks. So those went pretty well. It was sets of two and I felt pretty strong today. Feeling good. I'm a little sore from, uh, I had a chiropractor appointment this week and then, uh, oh, that was nice. <laughs> My second rule. 
I keep things pretty clean around here. I'll be doing some clean in here. Okay, so that's that. Listen, we just go with it. So we're gonna flip these babies. How beautiful those look. Right. Give them one more second. In the meantime, I'll cut up my sausage. They're gonna go on top into bite-sized pieces. I like my eggs a little runny too, so it's nice when they go in the avocado like that. Then they stay like kind of uncooked on the middle. All right, let's put these eggs. Check the temperature to get down just a little bit. All right, let's see if I get this all in one. Oh. Nice and crusty, beautiful. Give it another minute. So um, my knee's a little sore from been sore so the chiropractor worked on it a little bit I'm probably gonna soak in the tub after as well to kind of this is what happens as you get older as these master lifters you get sore so if you have a tub it's always good to soak in some Epsom salts and I'm gonna show off the heat because this pan is nice and hot we'll let it cook the rest of the way conserve a little energy um, but it's always good to take care of your health so that's why I am doing just that I did blood work um, a few months ago and my good cholesterol was good my ldl which they call bad cholesterol i know that um there's other words for that the uh, ldl was a little high 40 points higher um but my triglycerides were really really good everything else was good so i adjusted some of the um, other fats that i'm eating and we'll see how my cholesterol turns out it still was not super high it was 250 um, I'm not so really worried. I don't have heart disease in my family um, and I'm exercising. I have no other markers for uh, heart disease. So we're going to keep a close eye on everything. Um, and this is just about done. So I'm going to throw it in my, on top of my greens here, on top of my spinach. And then the last thing I do is here. just to slice it up. So it's eatable. Just like that. And there we have it. That is my after workout protein fat meal. I hope you enjoyed my little cooking show here. Bon appétit.